on your face. <laughs> Look at all this garlic. Okay, that is actually, I love it. Yeah. Like, I hate looking at this a lot, but I kind of love it. Why? I think it's cool. I don't know. I love it, hate it. I bought a whole bunch of garlic. And we are going to try something that I've wanted to try for so long. What's even the name? I keep telling Olivia it's garlic syrup. It's not garlic yeah, syrup. Like, what let, is me, that? let me look it up. I'll tell you what it's called. Olivia, you have done so good. Have you been cutting them in half? Yeah, you yeah. have. Okay, I'm going to show you this at the end. <laughs> or, I mean, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see where the vlog takes us. I'm a newbie at this. But basically, lady. But basically, I just know I need garlic. So you keep working on this because I want it full. Mm -hmm. We may or may not break it up into two things, but I'm sure that's a lot finish that. I'm gonna need these six cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. Is that how many you've done so far with this one? I've lost track. You've lost track. I'm pretty sure that's number six. Okay. Or five. We're gonna make some banana bread, but we're not going to do it very aesthetically pleasing. If you want the aesthetic version, go to Instagram because I have, I made banana bread and I made a whole reel and now it's time to make banana bread again and I haven't posted so I'm like, I'll make a YouTube video about the banana bread and then I'll have like the recipe, the aesthetic on Instagram. I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the, I'll link in the comments. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, dang it. Ah. The steak and butter, that's, that, that always gets me. Okay, close, and we're gonna do it in like 10 second increments, and then I'll probably end up like melting the butter. <laughs> um, I'll get everything else ready while that softening goes. Like getting my, uh, like getting my bananas peeled and mashed. So, we'll do that. Um, Joel is at the doctor, so he got his MRI done for his back, and he was going over the results, and basically, every single time we've ever talked to a back surgeon, they've told us, put the surgery off as long as possible. We're not doing surgery until you walk in here, because... Until you can't walk in here. Yeah, until you come crawling in here. Thank you. That's why I'm glad you're here. Um, Today's been a rough day for me, Mom. Both Olivia and I were like, we can't form sentences. We can't form thoughts. No. We are brain dead. Like, I've never stuttered in my entire life, but today I'm just like, I cannot think. My brain is fried. Um, but the surgeon today was like, you have zero, mo like, you're so stiff. I was going to say zero mobility, but obviously that's not true. But he's very, very stiff. And Joel's concern is that it's going to get worse. And the doctor said that it wouldn't. And so both of us, we were like, no, nah, we don't believe you. Like, we are going to give a second opinion. However, it is a little hopeful because the doctor was like, you will gain mobility if you do this surgery. And which kind of raises a red flag, and I don't know if it should raise a red flag, um, because every person that we've talked to is like, don't do it. I did it and I regretted it. So, I don't know. We're going to get a second opinion. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to like melt my butter here, soften my butter. <laughs> There were microwaves that had a softened butter mode, um, but I didn't go with those ones. Shut Why up. are microwaves so expensive? It's so stupid how expensive microwaves are. It's so stupid how expensive everything yeah, is. The smell in the kitchen is very weird. It's just um, bananas and garlic and butter. Bananas, garlic, and then I have fish. Oh. <laughs> I have salmon thawing. I was like, so do you want me to pick up dinner then? Oh, and the answer is yes. Like, I'm sitting here thawing salmon. I already have leftover of the um, top, like the salsa that I made, which is why we're doing it again. Because I'm like, we are not wasting our topping. 
Hey, I'll, I'll eat it. I'm the one that always is like, you know what? Let me just, I'll just eat whatever's in the fridge so we eat it. Olivia it. is amazing at finding stuff to eat with whatever ingredients whatever. we have in the fridge. Because well, it's easy to make rice, just put that on top of it. <laughs> That's what we basically did. Yes. I think she's hungry. We, yeah. Oh, you're almost done. Then do you want to take a pause and go feed her, or do you want to... Oh, I don't have a few pieces left. Okay, lady, hold on. I knew you are hungry. She knows what time it is. She knows that it's evening and wants to eat her dinner. We all do. We're all hungry. The boys are out of town, and we'll... Put that vlog up later. Should we see if the butter is melted? Let's see. Oh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So stop, open, let's see. Why do all these pieces go? <sighs> I bet just like one more. And, the, and these drawer ones are nice, the microwaves that are these drawer ones, but they're slow. I've had to learn some patience because you just want to like slam the door shut or like rip it open, you know, like a regular microwave. Yeah, this is like, I think, um, I'm like, oh, I thought I had everything out. I gotta get my beaters out. Oh, and I ordered new beaters. What? And they were supposed to be here. Where are they? Oh, dang, I did. I ordered new beaters. Where are they? Um, I will finish the last three. Okay. Yes, you have these. sugar and I always go shy I'm not going to add four full cups of sugar I'll probably do like three-fourths three times yeah super light on the sugar I don't so kind of like almost half you just don't need it you just don't need that and it still tastes very delicious. And like, I just, maybe I'm just so over the like, and then you put music over it. It's just, I don't know. Just need a little different scene, a little different pace. Maybe I'm just feeling the need for a little change. I don't know. Oh, just it up with my hand. Six, seven, eight. I'll we'll start backwards so I don't have to keep track the whole time. It's a great idea, Bonnie. Sometimes when you say your own name, does it sound weird? This looks pretty disgusting when you blend the eggs and the butter and it just is a little chunky, but that's okay. You don't want to blend it too much. This banana bread is the best thing that's ever happened to me. It is my literal favorite recipe. You take a hot, well, not even a hot, get a thick piece, put a generous amount of butter on it, stick it in the microwave till it's you know, pretty toasty, and it is the greatest to ever happen to my to me. I was gonna say to my mouth, and that just <laughs> felt weird. 
I'm gonna go to bed and tell Joel that, and we're gonna laugh about it. <laughs> oh, Two teaspoons baking soda. Let me do this over. I know it's gonna get everywhere, and hey, you're wasting it. Yep, sure am. Um, it'll deodorize my sink. Two. Three. container for this salt, but I just don't. One and a half of three. So one, two. <gasps> Joel's home. He just came flying down that driveway. He has some contractors outside that he was not expecting to keep waiting, but he had them waiting. So I have my, oh, flour. I need to mix this first. I'm going to mix this first. Eggs, bananas, vanilla, milk. How much milk? I can't keep my head on straight. I'm sitting here thinking of so many different things. It's fine, I know I'm fine, but here we go. Did I get everything? Baking soda, salt, flour, vanilla. Yes, okay. So I'm just gonna give this a quick mix, not too crazy. You just, I know that it changes some things when you mix it too much. Okay, just enough. Now I'll add my flour. And I'm so excited to use my Camus flour. or not. Oh, I'm so excited. Four cups. That's a lot. Eight cups of flour. Um, mm -hmm. I am not an expert on this, but I am an expert on the banana bread. So <laughs> banana bread's in the oven and we're trying something new with this. And mm -hmm. so I'm not going to give you like any tutorial or anything. Um, but should we start with three of them or should we do one of them? No, well, you know what? I think we should start with one. I may not even have enough honey to do three, so I'll probably do two. Do you have to fill it all the way to the top? Yeah, and I thought for sure one of these would fill it. Dum, dum, dum. Like I said, guys, this is an experiment. So what's this supposed to go on? Like, what would you You're supposed to eat? to eat this every day. You have a just one spoonful of the honey and a piece of garlic. But it's going to be fermented, and so it's not going to um, be as strong. Yeah, like it, it's not like eating raw garlic. Mm -hmm. As both of them have extremely good health benefits. Oh, honey is so incredibly good for you. So is garlic. One jar of honey is going to be enough for this. Now, we would have to burp it every couple of days if it had a lid on it while it's fermenting, but she said get coffee filters and a rubber band and it will burp itself naturally, which that's what I'm gonna do. So, with all of that, we're going to have our fish dinner and we will see you guys in our next video. Thanks for hanging out with us in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, that's crazy. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye. Look how cute it is. I love this. Like it looks it looks like the old jar from like Pollyanna when they're giving away the jars of um, yeah. jam. Cute one. Yeah, I love this.
give me a break. This looks and smells so 